Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests, don't hesitate. Just drop on below. I would be happy to make a video for you. You don't have to subscribe or actually Maybe now you should consider subscribing because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually sh uh, share small customizations each video, but right now I will be sharing complete sections and complete widgets so you can make your Shopify store very professional, but not relying on those expensive teams or those monthly subscription applications just so you can have a widget or uh, a section on your Shopify store. And if you don't believe me, just check out the channel below. Check out the videos I posted about some of the sections lately and I'll let you decide. No pressure. But for now, let me show you how to add the glass morphism effect on your header on scrolling on your Shopify store so you can have that trendy effect that many, many uh, famous Shopify stores have right now. And we will add that again by using our own custom code. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with a completely new team, nothing on it. Then each video, I add small customizations. So by the video 70 or 60, the, the team will be completely different. But right now in this chapter, because I said this is a very different chapter, I will be sharing complete sections. So I think I will reach that level by the video 20 or 30. For example, as you can see right now, this section right here, where it shows all reviews from multiple sections all in one place, from Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And you can filter, but if I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google. And if I click on Facebook, it will only show me the reviews from Facebook and so on for Amazon and Etsy. And also if I click on all, it will show me all of them and this is actually a carousel. You can uh, swipe on mobile, you can swipe with your finger, but here you can use the, the, cur uh, the mouse cursor as well on the arrow so you can check out all the reviews. And this is highly customizable. Even the small uh, verified icon, you can change the color for it as well. Or actually just check out the video and see all the options it has and I'll let you decide. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one right here. As you can see, once I scroll down, it will show this, oops. You know those pop-ups that once suddenly they show up when you're trying to leave the page or close the page? This is exactly what you saw right now. And you can add this by using your own code right now. You don't have to rely on application because this pop-up would actually track the user mouse cursor once he de it detects that he's trying to close the page or leave, then it will show up. And it has this flash sale with the countdown timer as you can see, and it has this interactive a copy a discount code button and you can even set the background for it as a video and yes all of this without using a single application but let me close this and show you how to add this glass morphism effect on your header just like you see right now because it looks very good once i scroll down as you can see the things get a little bit blurry and still transparent but the menus and so on they look clear and you don't have to make them bold or anything like that and without any much so to do this, the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots or left of customize, then click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and the files here, use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in header, just like you see, and it will show you header.liquid. Make sure to access the file header.liquid. Simply click on it and a bunch of liquid file will show up, no worries. I will show you how to add this just like you are five years old. So I guarantee you no mistakes will happen. So the first thing you're going to do is we need to find a specific section again inside this file. And to do that, instead of looking at the folds like this, and to do that, instead of looking at the code like this, you might get dizzy. Simply click on the code, just like you want to write something and don't write anything. Use the keys on your keyboard. If you are on Windows, click on Control F. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page where it will help us find that particular section. And simply type in sticky dash header, just like you see, then hit enter on your keyboard. It will show you uh, the first one, not this one, click enter again the second time and this one. Let me be clear here. So the one that has this header tag, as you can see, this is exactly what we need. So you see it, st it starts with this one, uh, this triangle. I'm sorry, English is my native Eng language, so I don't know what this called, I apologize. So this one starts here and ends here. So we need to select from this opening bracket to the closing bracket. I'm, I think it's not called bracket, but <laughs> just bear with me here. So select this section right here and simply 
deleted. That's very clear, right? The next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website. Click on it and it will take you to my website, obviously, then download a zip file that will have two files, a .liquid file and .css file. So first, open the one .liquid file. It has like six lines of code or something like that. Simply open it with any text editor, then simply copy the whole code inside it. Make sure to copy the whole thing, then paste it in here. As you can see, it looks very similar, very similar, very slight difference between the original one and my code. After that, we're almost finished. We need to add another code, which is the CSS file. But <laughs> to do that, we need to find again another section. So click on this prompt right here where we did type in sticky header. Then this time type in style, just like you see. Then hit enter and not this one. Hit enter again and this one, as you can see. So this one style. And below it, it says header drawer. So this is exactly the code. Let me zoom in on it so you can see. So this is exactly the code we need to find. But we need to create some space below this style. To do that, simply hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely uh, new space to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get the code? From the CSS file, of course. So again, open the CSS file with any text editor you have on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in the space that we did create. So let me paste it in here. Oh, oops, let me zoom out. So after you did pasting the code, then hit save button. Just wait for a couple of seconds, it's saved. We will get back in here because I already removed the glass, but I'm just doing the, the thing again. So let me reload the page. And if I scroll down here, as you can see, it's working just fine. And that's how you add the glass morphism effect on your header on your Shopify store by using your own code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.